First of all, um, I haven't vlogged today at all. Oh, hey guys. Oh, um, what's up? Uh, he doesn't understand like that. He doesn't understand that I have to edit it and then post it when we're not in oh New York. Oh, uh, chocolate here. So we're here in Rockefeller Central. Center? Center. Center. I'll edit that. So we're here in Rockefeller Center. And she messed up the first time. It's fine. Oh, an American oh, Girl wow. store. <gasps> Look the American Girl store. I got excited about that and not the cathedral. But look at this cathedral. So we're here in Rockefeller Center and and St. Patrick's. We're going to St. Patrick's right now. Okay, we're taking a picture, I guess. So we're crossing the street right now and we're meeting up with another group. So we can go in the cathedral. Can I film in a cathedral? Is it like offensive? Okay. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I don't want to like Last offend. Summer. Yeah. <laughs> it's. We're going. People are going. Now it has a. Has a <laughs> Honestly, I'm such a jaywalker. Right. Men with suits. Oh my god. This cathedral is so beautiful, and I don't think I have enough Polaroid right, film. Real life New York pigeons. <laughs> real life pigeons. This is great. Caroline, first thoughts. Um, it's freaking huge. Like, right? You turn the corner, it's like, oh, there's a cathedral. I mean, not wrong. So we're going in right now. This is what this all looks like. Like, this is huge. Oh, they have a mass schedule because it's a working church. That makes sense. Oh my god, oh, there's a picture of the Pope. Oh my god. I have to get a picture. I do. I do. Yeah, duh. I have to get a picture with the Pope. It's just me and you. The DJ girl is falling in love again. One like businessman. A businessman walked in and the front desk dude was like, hey Lou, how you doing? Lou? Oh my god. And they're like, to each other, and I was like, that's what I imagine like town business being. <laughs> Honestly, I want to have that like relationship with like a security guard in, the in a building, Center. like in Rockefeller Center, just be like, hey, what up? Just like working here. Oh, our group is like all the way up there. So, if you haven't guessed already, I'm doing a tour of NBC Studios in Rockefeller Center. Um, yeah, you can live here, shop here. It's a city within a city, as our tour guide said. Like, that's super cool. There's, oh, there's a Dunkin' Donuts here. I don't know, probably. Like, think about it. Think of the money. There's a bunch of photos of, like, Jimmy Fallon everywhere. <gasps> so, there's an, oh my god, there's an SNL store. The Snell store. Nobody calls it Snell. Snell store? So... There we go, thank god, found them. We get 10% off at the store just for being on the tour. I'm in love with this. Okay, so basically, this is the gift shop. We get 10% off of everything just for being here. Um, yeah, it looks pretty fun. We get to tour the SNL lot, like, soundstage. We get to... What, what else do we get to tour besides us now? I have no clue, but, you know, we'll find out. It'll be super fun. Do you need chapstick? Just witness. the sweetest thing. What are you doing? That was the Pope. I took a picture with the Pope I took a picture sign. with the Pope sign, too, and it says No, bro. I took a picture with it. Oh, I took a picture of it, and it has bro on it, because he's my bro. Really? Because Jesus, I'm bros. Jesus. Yeah, well, go I'm, Jesus. I'm going to be the first female Pope, so. You don't. You, but, but, you, okay. So we're going. We're going on our tour now. We're going in. I don't know if I can film this, but, like, I'm going to try. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. From New York City, the city that never sleeps. No, really, I haven't slept in a week. 
It's on air at NBC Studios with your host, Emily Nobles. Thank you so much for joining me on my first night as host of On Air at NBC Studios. Exciting, right? right? We are coming to you live from 30 Rockefeller Plaza where some of my late night idols got their start. We've got a terrific show for you tonight and first say hello to 30 Rock and Roll Band. From tourist to host of On Air at NBC Studios in under 30 minutes. Wow. Ooh, maybe I should run for president. Oh. Hey, I'd probably settle for a reality show if I were you. On Air has had so much talent behind the scenes. Let's give it up for the crew. Woo! I'm so excited to bring out our first guest. They are starring in a new blockbuster action film being right sh being shot right here, right in New York. <laughs> Out of the best in the business, please welcome Nicholas Carrion. Hello, Nicholas. Great to have you here. How is New York treating you? Uh, pretty great, actually. I love everything about it. Times Square is awesome. Everything's yeah. great. Yeah. Nice. So the film sounds incredible. It has had a huge budget and is filled with A-listers. How did you land this role? Well, Peter's my uncle, Peter Berg. So um, <laughs> he came up to me, said he needed a youngster for the show playing under, well, the A-list actor, Mark Wahlberg, wasn't announced then, but now. <laughs> so I had to play under him. It was pretty awesome. Nice. Yeah. It's very nice. It sounds like everything is really working out for you. Mm. So I hear you're doing your own stunts? I am. What is the craziest stunt you've had to do so far? Um, I had to jump out of a, an airplane, actually. Wow. Mm, the movie, wow. it's on fire, it's going down. We had to jump into Pacific Ocean, which is where we were filming, so. Wow, last time I did that, I woke up in Las Vegas. <laughs> am I right? <laughs> am I right? Uh, I also heard you've been filming some noisy action scenes late at night in the Lower East Side. Uh, what's the worst complaint that you've gotten so far? Um... Get a room. <laughs> nice. Sounds like a typical morning at my house. <laughs> Your co-stars have been in the news a lot lately. Uh, how's it been working with them? Uh, it's pretty great. Um, I'm trying to hit it off with Scarlett Joe Hansen. Yeah, obviously, obviously. Doesn't seem to be working though, you know. Okay. Well, let me know. I send my best, and wouldn't want to get on their bad side, of course. Oh, no. Nicholas, we are so lucky to have you here today. Uh, what's been your favorite part of the tour? Hmm. Probably the show. The show? Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, very good show. My favorite part, of course, is uh, midi rocking, eh, eh, as the New Yorkers do. Um, also, oh, also uh, touring with Emily Spittler. She's been a great part of the tour. Great tour room. But um, did you get to make it to the prop room by chance? I snuck in there and... Uh, Grab this little panda bear. Oh, of course you did. Yes. I, I heard you had sticky fingers. And um, also, well, Jimmy, I'm... if you're watching, really like to be a part of the show. Well, I'm glad you love the tour. There's so much talent and history in this building. In fact, I am just realized I'm sitting at Jimmy's old desk. Can I take this thing? Can, can I have you, this? Can you believe we're out of time? Uh, you have to come back and visit again. Will you do that? I will, actually, yes. Hopefully on the Tonight Show. Nice. I'll give you a shout out. So good to have you here. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, no problem. Thank you for having me. <laughs> like I said before, though, next time I'd like to be on the Tonight Show. Jimmy? Then I'd rather have better guests. Okay. And I'd like to thank everyone who made On Air at NBC Studios possible today. Caroline Noble, Woo! the 30 Rock and Roll Band, yeah. and the talented Nicholas Carrion, Woo! our wonderful camera operators, Woo! and of course our crew in the control room. Woo! Thank you for visiting. We hope you enjoy the rest of the tour at NBC Studios. I'm Emily Noble. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, so we just got out of the tour. I know. So we just got out of the tour, and it was really, really cool. We got to see the um, the Today Show set, the SNL set, which honestly I almost cried in. I like it was so cool to see. It's a lot smaller than you think, and it's so cool how they utilize the space for all the different skits. Um, they were in the process of taking it down due to like the season finale already happening and like shutting it down for the summer. But it was so cool to see. Um, and then, what else did we see? We got to see all the control rooms and everything backstage and um, our pages were super cool. Um, Kate and Amon, like they were so cool. Um, they're really hilarious and I really loved being with them. It was such a cool tour, honestly. Um, you got a free pin. Um, it was like a magnet kind of pin. Um, and then I've got a SNL pin from the gift shop because I figured if the set made me cry like that, like, get a pin. Um, and I also got a tote bag with the purchase. And so yeah, now we're going to the front of the, build, of the Rockefeller building to meet with the rest of the group. And honestly, that was such a cool tour. Like, I recommend that tour to everybody. Yeah. Revolving doors. Like, it was such a cool tour. I couldn't film anything, because there was no photography or videography allowed. Um, but literally, how cool. Still really awesome. Still. But. Yes, we're getting pictures. So we're about to see <laughs> friend and Yuri. He just poured a cake and it's so good. Also, Lola. So if I don't see Lola, I'm gonna cry. It's like okay. No. It's literally. No. Okay, so we stop singing. I'm talking. So what are we talking about? So we just saw Kinky Boots and yes, we're we at did. the stage door yes, right we now. Are. And who, are, who do you want to see? Um, he wants to see the fine girl who played um, like Charlie's. Brendan Nuri's ex. Nuri! Beyonce. Who is, I said Uri. You need to learn how to not listen. It's Uri either. Oh my god. I'm saying the name how Hi. it's spelled. Like, I just saw my first Broadway show. Nick is talking. Okay, um, look, listen, listen. I, I'll be honest. I'm not going to front like I'm a fan of disco fan. I only heard like two of their songs. I don't know why she's ripping my ass for miss, mispronouncing the... The lead person I'm okay. sorry. Like I'm sorry. I'm not a Brendan fan. Brendan Yuri was in <laughs> was Kinky Boots. He played Charlie. His voice and Lola, killed like, it. Simon she Lola, killed she, it. She, he, he absolutely great. killed it. I love him. Okay. You know what else? Love him. 100%. Ex, ex fiance, like I'm 18. Here. Nick Carrion. I live in the. Can you stop places. shoving me? Oh my God, we're vlogging right now. Can you not? Can you stop making a You're shoving though. You're shoving though. I can lean back. It's so okay. Like, oh my God. Yes, ma'am. Here I am. Yes, ma'am. I am.